Good afternoon up at the family camp um, and uh, going to talk a little bit about some micro off-grid options and we're going to unbox the through night archer um, we're going to set it up and power it up and then when it's dark out we're going to power it on and talk about some features of this offering from through night um, so you can see I brought a solar panel up with me this time flip this around and show you what's going on I figured out that I can charge my EcoFlow on the 12 volt charger from my Coleman um, panel so pretty happy about that uh, what's going on right now it's a hundred watt panel it's delivering about 35 watts and it's charged up to 70 percent so I guess it's predicting it'll take about 12 hours to power it up to 100% right now. So that's going all right. And um, I've already been running a uh, my portable fridge freezer uh, off of that all night. So it's been keeping all of our camp meats and cold drinks cold. And then I'm going to charge it up in the sun. Then I'm going to plug the cooler back in. And then I'm going to charge it up in the sun, plug the cooler back in. And... I think I could kind of perpetually keep it going so that's been super handy okay let's unbox this guy okay through night archer what have we got here we have there's the lanyard and through night always sends a couple of extra gasket rings which is nice and it looks like there's also an extra push button um, in here as well. So I love that they send you the spare parts uh, for the common parts that get broken. Keep the box and then you're all set. Okay, I'm going to go through um, all the features of it after. What we want to do here is... Um, oh! I don't have to charge this. The Archer uses a AA battery. Okay, so it's not a rechargeable one. It just uses North America's most common battery size, so that's handy. I should have paid more attention. Um, I just gotta go find myself a battery for it now. Well, there, the most common battery size in North America and I did have a bunch here at camp so uh, I now have some in here and because it's kind of dark in the camp can fire this guy up just to give you a little look um, it's a nice size of light and okay so it's got power on power off at the back and then you've got, oh yeah, the little moonlight mode. And if we hold, it's going to go blink, blink, blink. If we hold again, back to the low power. Higher, higher, higher. Moonlight. Long hold is to flash. Single button changes through the brightness settings, so that's pretty handy. That's an easy fit in your pocket kind of a light. So I've had this guy set up in the sun today and I was able to get the um, charge up from 46% to 61% just by um, keeping it in the sun with the 100 watt panel so I'm pretty happy with that I only had it out there for a few hours um, kind of turned off the cooler um, but I didn't want everything to get too cool in there so a few hours in the sun charged it up enough that it should run it all night again that would be good and the three night archer came in pretty handy last night because we had a bit of a bit of a party night and we had to come home in the dark so able to uh, light our way through these woods paths with this light um, so a couple more things about it uh, it just weighs a little bit over 40 grams so it's pretty light 
and it fits in the hand nicely. Um, you can half depress the button and let it go to have light on demand or if you fully depress it the light stays on obviously and you cycle through the modes with the little side button. On Firefly mode which is the very um, dimmest mode that, that I quite like. It'll do about 17 days turned on in Firefly mode um, and if you use it on the highest intensity you'll get about 115 minutes of light which is still quite a bit of light. Very handy though um, that it uses AA batteries because you can just quickly swap out a spare battery um, and get days and days more more light power. The body's pretty durable. It's um, anodized anodized aluminum and it's got a nice grip and it has a pretty smooth threading on it. It always feels like they are um, screwing and unscrewing pretty well these flashlights. Um, it's got a little bit of a crenellation on it which is a nice look and look, look what else I saw though lobster mushroom it's a really really good uh, mushroom picking week because here also and in nice shape are some of the yellow chanterelles so you can see they've got these false gills underneath and those are some little poops from snails. Snails and slugs really like to eat the uh, chanterelles so it's always good to have a dry brush and clean those off. Get as much of that off as you can before cooking. There's a few more over here including some nice big ones and I got a report that the black chanterelles the trompe de mort or the horn of plenty mushrooms um, they may also be ready to pick so that's something I'm gonna go look for after so I should really go and get myself a basket and pick some of these chanterelles Oh, hello there. 